Hey guys, Joe here. So in this video, hopefully the audio comes out okay. I'm gonna put the little fuzzy thing on this thing. So anyway, I wanna talk about the uh, story I, I was mentioning in another video, which is the contractor that killed himself. So what happened is, so the guy used to work for me and he was the type of person that, um, you know, especially in the beginning, he was getting paid every day, right? He was getting paid cash every day. Um, obviously, finance is not great. Um, did have a drug problem. Now, when he was, dude, what are you doing? Um, so when he was with me, he seemed pretty good. Um, but then there would be points where you could just tell, like, he just was on either something or more of that something. Just put it that way. So anyway, great installer, super fast. Like it was ridiculous. Uh, quality wise, for the most part, it was pretty damn good considering. And like, I'm telling you like fast, like I haven't seen anyone faster. Now there's the guy, Miguel, at my work that was, um, or that is the fastest person I've ever met. He would keep up with him. And if you would have put those two guys together, oh my God, like it would have been nuts. Like seriously. So anyway. Uh, so he was installing for me. Uh, we end up having a blow up. It was for it was on a really shitty install. Uh, the customer was a nightmare situation. It was a different type of material. Um, it was like the guy was never going to be happy. Like the customer, it was just it was a horrible situation. He ended up just walking off the job, and I had to end up finishing it. And so you know, after that, he ended up starting his own uh, company, right? And, you know, we kind of lost touch for a little bit. And then after that, you know, after a few months, he, you know, came to me, he was trying to buy, you know, some materials. And at first I didn't really think anything of it. And now I know why he reached out to me. And part of the reason why all this happened is because he started getting into debt, right? And because again, you have this person that was getting paid on a daily basis. And then there was, you know, then, you know, he went from that to owning a company. So now you have all these people, you know, during peak season there, you know, you have all these deposits coming in, you know, and just say you collect enough deposits for the next two, three weeks. Well, you didn't buy the materials yet, right? So you have all this money. Again, you go from getting paid every single day to now having, you know, five, 10, 15, 20, $30,000 in your bank account. And it's like, at that point you're rich. It would be like me having like, next thing I know, like there's just like, I wake up tomorrow, there's a million dollars in my bank account. And you're like, well, I'm doing something right. I'm a genius, right? And so anyway, he started buying the materials for me. And I was like, I, 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 I don't, I'm not gonna say names, but like, I'm like, you gotta be really careful, you know, because what's happening is again, like you have all these deposits coming in, it, you think you have all this money, but then like during the summertime, it starts, you know, that kind of like levels off because you're all, you know, um, you know, you're caught up. And then after that, like the fall time comes and then you start, it's like dwindling down, you know, your account. And then the winter time, it's like you just fell off a, uh, you know, a cliff. And I said, you got to be really careful because otherwise you're going to put yourself in this like serious debt. And like, you're just not even going to know it's happening until it's like too late. Right. And sure enough, that's pretty much what happened. But, you know, so I, you know, I'd see him have that conversation with him, see him like in another week or two. And like, I could see it progressively getting worse between, um, you know, at one point he was paying, I forget how much it was. It was like four bucks in like change or some shit that he had to pay um, because he just didn't have like the, like the actual cash, right? And then on top of that, I'd, you know, as he's coming in, like you'd see those signs where it's almost like this, it's almost like his, like, it was just him there, but not his, like him, like his aura, like his spirit. I don't know how else to put it, but like you could just see, it was like, he was like a sh just a shell, right? And like, you would just, like he was losing weight. He was um, coming in like, and his hands were like twitchy and shit like that. And like, I kept on trying to have these conversations. I'm like, you really gotta be careful. And I think a lot of times when I try, like when I do this kind of stuff, number one, there's like no filter. Cause like whatever I'm thinking, I just say it. And I think a lot of people get 
defensive or they think I'm doing it because like for him, it might have been something like, oh, he's just telling me all this shit because he's trying to scare me. And I, uh, you know, I don't want him to succeed or whatever. And it just wasn't the case because I really like I still think this and I, I know it's true is like there's more than enough work for, you know, everyone. So anyway, I, you know, kept on having a conversation. And then so we get a call. I forget exactly when it was because it's been a few years at this point. But we had we got this call that like he killed himself. Right. And so what ended up happening, and this is what I alluded to in the other video, and, you know, why I highly, highly suggest most contractors not do lines of credit, do not do, well, I shouldn't say lines of credit, that's one thing, but, um, you know, you should not have some kind of, you know, that line of credit with the supplier, like terms, you know, 30 day terms or whatever you end up doing. I highly suggest not doing it. The reason for it is because it's almost, if you if you ever um, invested in like the stocks and stuff like that, it's like you are, um, you're going into like a margin account or you're doing short selling and things like that. Because what happens is you have just say, you know, a thousand dollars, but on margin, just say you can now do $10,000, you know, something like that. So now if you lose that money, you're like in the negatives, right? Whereas if you just invested the thousand dollars, you lost it. Well, you're just like, you have no money, right? And it's the same thing with the suppliers. And honestly, I, the one supplier in particular, he's my competitor. He's probably watching this video. Um, now I, I don't know, like I used to make tons of videos and like, I just don't care about anyone. Like, I just don't like, I will, I will just do me. Right. And so I think number one, I, I really do think that the suppliers that are giving out these lines of credit or these terms to these smaller contractors and like really quickly without much, um, you know, much of a, 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 a history with these contractors, I, I really do think it's like setting them up for failure because most contractors I talk to, myself included, right? We're not as good with our numbers as we should be, right? And especially for contractors that are just starting out, like they, they have no idea what their numbers are. Like there's just just zero, right? If you're watching this video, more than likely you have no idea what your true numbers are, right? And I don't mean like, oh, know your numbers by pulling 14 different reports and then kind of piecing everything together and knowing your numbers or looking at your account and be like, I have money in my account, so we're making money. Like that's not knowing your numbers, right? And again, everyone's super busy. They start doing these lines of credit and then it starts slowing down. So now your account's dwindling and then, but you still owe this money to your supplier. So what do you do, right? And it becomes crippling, right? Now, the bigger problem is that, and this guy did it, is he went from one supplier to the next and to the next. I think there was three suppliers. I don't know exact numbers or anything like that because obviously I'm not like not him, right? But, or his family, whatever. But if you have a guy that clearly has a drug problem and like, no offense to most contractors, but like the chances of a contractor having a drug problem are extremely high. Like they're pretty damn high for most people in general at this point because of like everything that's been going on with the drug industry and you know, we're just trying to freaking pump people full of drugs. Um, but the contractors, like even more so because like getting between the injuries and the cash based business and all this other kind of shit. But like, it's a huge problem, right? And I just, I, I feel horrible, but like you have a guy that again is going from having, you know, needing to get paid on a daily basis to now 
having, oops. So you go from having a guy that needs daily, like cash every single day to now have thousands of an account, probably thinking that he's like a genius, right? And, um, you know, he's just hitting it big. And then now having thousands in there and now owing, you know, 50, 60, $100,000. For me, you might as well say, look, you need to pay back $10 million in the next 30 days. Like at that point, like I'm going to go like, I, I don't even know what I would do at that point. Right. And it feels like the world's lost and like you're just never going to get out of that debt. Like you just like there's no way I get out of 10 million in 30 days. Right. And so he ended up killing himself. And the worst part is like he did it with his family there. He did it with his son in the house, uh, you know, his wife in the house. And it, I, I feel so bad. Like I really do. Like I tried helping. I really did. And I, that's, honestly, it's the main reason why I just don't know if we would ever do terms. Like right now, we're honestly not in the position to do terms. Like this business is only two years old. Like we're just not, we can't do terms, right? We just can't, right? But I just don't know in a few years if I would even offer terms, like when we're able to. Yeah, I, I just don't know. I, I really think it's something to be careful of. Um, so there's that. Now on the flip side, it's also something that kind of locks contractors into a supplier. You know, there's a guy that, again, I, you know, doesn't like me. Um, you know, that is what it is for that. But there are certain, watch for what certain suppliers do. You know, if they are giving you credit terms right away, if they're doing some kind of, um, some kind of end of year rebate, if they are doing something where you had a bounce, you started leaving to go to someone else and they said, you know, look, I will clear out your debt if you just order from us. If any of those situations happen, it's literally trapping you to that company. Because if you if you do the whole rebate thing, right? Number one, you're order you have to order from them for the entire year in order to hit whatever revenue goal and then you get a rebate. But then you have to also assume that like Hopefully they actually honor that for you, right? What happens if they get in a bad situation? What if the relationship sour, starts souring at the very end or, you know, whatever. And like you stay with the supplier for like the entire year, hoping to get that check or whatever at the, you know, at the end of the year, the beginning of the, you know, the following year, whatever. And you're just kind of stuck with them. So that's one thing. And then again, if you have debt with a supplier, you end up starting to order from someone else and they're like, you know what, I will clear your debt if you just order from us. What's going to happen, because I've seen it, is that every time, and honestly, a supplier that's a really good supplier or a really com good company in general that has your best interest, I don't know if they would do this kind of shit because like these kinds of tactics are literally to trap you in whereas if you're a really good supplier and run a really good business and actually give a shit about your customers there's no reason to trap them because they just want to keep on coming back over and over and over again so anyway just some things to be careful of but yeah that's the whole like guy killing himself because of the crippling debt so i'm hoping that you know if someone watches this video and doesn't get that line of credit or the uh, you know the terms or whatever and that saves your sanity and because of that it you know protects your health and your life and all that kind of stuff then like it was worth it so and if you know of someone that's starting their business and things like that and they're talking about the lines of credit or you know terms or whatever you might want to send them this video because again i i've seen this go wrong so many 
times. And like it's a huge concern. So anyway, hope you guys are doing great and I will talk to you soon. Bye.